Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Mod Organizer 2 for Skyrim Special Edition by Tannen, which was uploaded by El Presidente and worked on by the um, Mod Organizer 2 team who helped bring this awesome tool up to date working with Skyrim Special Edition. The tool is now very stable and ready to go compared to the old version, which was an experimental version created by Tannen on GitHub. I have since then re-set um, all the links to this particular page for the mod organizer, in case you, if you have anything you want to install wise. With the new tutorial, Mod Organizer 2 has been updated with the links, so you can now download it and install it from here correctly. Now, like any tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download this in the proper location or location of your choice that you choose to use for your uh, Skyrim Special Edition and hopefully it'll work properly for you depending on your system. Now don't get me wrong, Modern Organizer 2 still has hiccups but the teams are working hard to crush them and they will continue to update the uh, file accordingly whether it's through an installer or a standalone version. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install the standalone version for Mod Organizer 2, which is the one they have up, up and ready to go. Now, before we get started, please make sure you endorse the mod, okay? And if you want to donate to the team, please go ahead and do so. I think they would always appreciate it. Now, make sure before you start, you, re you have a chance to read the mod description page and everything that they recommend you do when installing Mod Organizer 2. I'm giving you a quick tutorial, but that doesn't mean I'm giving you the full information that you fully need, okay? I'm going to show you how to update it from the old Mod Organizer 2 if you had the one from GitHub, which was Tannen's experimental version, to the new version. And it's not actually that hard at all, okay? So... Make sure you please go ahead and read all the information on, on the description page as as necessary since it helps it'll help you get a better understanding of Mod Organizer 2 when you have time. Okay? But for right now, we're just gonna go ahead and show you how to do a, the, the simple installation process. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is download Mod Organizer 2 manually to your download folder. Once you download it to your download folder, the first thing you're gonna want to do is find the standalone version of the zip file. You're gonna right-click it with your mouse, find your zip your unzip, whether it's Wuthrad or um, 7-Zip. I prefer 7-Zip. I've, I've, I've been using it since the, since the early 2000s, and I'm, unfortunately I'm going to keep using it <laughs> as long as it's free. Okay. Now, once it's done, believe it or not, with the standalone version, you've already installed Mod Organizer 2. Did you hear what I just said? You've just installed Mod, Ar Mod Organizer 2 for your computer. We're going to... I do recommend though you don't have this long file name. So just click on rename and delete all this and just leave it as Mod Organizer 2 and maybe put spe SE for special edition. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you can put this anywhere you want on your computer. The only place I recommend you do not put it in, and I'm going to open up a new tab to show you, is the mod is the spe Iron Special Edition. Um, directory. The Mod Organizer 2 team has reached out to me and let me know that the directory is a not a good place to do it since apparently there's a couple bugs uh, being caused when you install Mod Organizer 2 into the Skyrim Special Edition directory. So it is highly recommended that you install it in a different place other than your directory. I do not recommend you install it into your program's files. Please do not install it because it may cause problems with your computer. So please do not install it in your program files. However, what I recommend doing is creating a folder for Skyrim Special Edition called Mod Tools and maybe putting your Mod Organizer 2 folder in there. You can just drag and drop it, okay? Or if you don't want to do that and you want to go straight to your Mod Organizer 2 directory to load up your Mod Organizer 2, you can always put it to your desktop. This is of personal opinion to me. I like to get the things right away So on my, when it comes to tools like Mod Organizer 2, so I will install them on my desktop. Now, when you first load up Mod Organizer 2, right, it's going to ask if you want to, uh, what game you're looking for. You can click New and you can add in the game you, you want. I recommend not using it for these games, the Fallout 3, Skyrim, Oblivion, or Nexus Mod or ne New Vegas. I recommend using it only for Skyrim Special Edition and Fallout 4. The reason being is because this is a 64-bit design version of Mod Organizer, which is designed specifically for Fallout 4 and Skyrim Special Edition. You can try to use them on... 
Skyrim if you want, or the other 32-bit games. However, I do not recommend it. That is my personal opinion. You are more than welcome to experiment, but please be warned, if you do do that and you run into bugs, I will not be able to help you. However, I recommend, again, one more time, Skyrim Special Edition and Fallout 4. Now, you can also do it another way, which is the portable. Okay? And it'll show you where the, where the link is. You can choose Fallout 4 or Skyrim Special Edition. When you click on this, it'll ask if you want to use a tutorial. I recommend if you're new to Mod Organizer 2, yes, follow the tutorial and go through it that way. But I've already done that, so I'm in, and I'll just give you an example by using Fallout 4, okay? As you can see here, it's asking for a tutorial. And all you need to do is just follow the little markers to the tutorial as you can. It'll tell you where to click on and where to go, etc., etc., okay? tells you everything you need to know about Mod Organizer 2, what it does, how it works, the, the places and everything else that you would do, okay? And if you want to install your Nexus page, you would come over to your Nexus through this little uh, toolbar, your little settings tab, install your Nexus and your Steam plugins as well if you wanted. So you can download links directly to Mod Organizer 2 from the Nexus. And you'll find it over here in this little section in your downloads. Now, if you're an old Mod Organizer 2 from the GitHub section, you're going to find your old folder in your directory where I where you, where you used to install it. Delete that folder from there. However, down in your local section, you're going to find a folder called Mod Organizer 2. Through your data, through your app data, your local, your computer, and you'll find Mod Organizer 2. In here, you should find four, four files, and I'm going to show them to you right now. In here, you should find your Profiles, Mods, Downloads, and Override. These are the four files that you want to back up and drop and drag into your new Skyrim, your Mod Organizer 2 directory, okay? So you're going to drag and drop them into the Mod Organizer 2 directory. It'll take a moment to everything to pull over, depending on how many mods you have, downloads, uh, files, anything you have in the override, or the profiles you may have set up. I noticed profiles is pretty quick along with the downloads and override. However, your mods, I guarantee you, if you have a lot of them, will take a while. So please take your time in, uh, installing this, okay? That's pretty much the basics of installing from the modern issue. Once that's done, all you got to do is delete this file here. And you are done, and you are good to go. Go to your recycle bin and say bye-bye. Try to click, try to keep a neat, uh, a neat computer, unlike myself, which is kind of mashed up here. <laughs> but this is my setup, so you can judge me accordingly. Now, this is pretty much the basics of Mod Organizer 2. You can load it up like you normally would. Okay. You should find it should look exactly like this when you're done for your Skyrim Special Edition. Not like this. You'll have you'll have to add your executables, and I I show you how to do that in my other tutorials. But you should find, you know, your uh, your mod lists that you had, everything set up, your data set up, your saves, and your downloads. Okay, all your downloads that you had prior, they should be there. Okay. Archives, etc. And make sure you do install uh, Nexus so you can download it. You can download from the Nexus page directly to your mod organizer too, or your Steam. Okay. All right, everyone. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you you liked it. If you need any more help from the mod organizer two team, you can reach them on the Discord. They have a link right here called Mod Organizer Devs, which is the Discord um, servers. I recommend actually contacting them out through there because it is quicker and they can respond to you much faster than you would on the, on the Nexus page. However, you can still contact them on the Nexus page like you normally would through the posts, and they can ha hopefully help you, or you can find some help through the uh, other users of the, on the Nexus. If you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tonya Wolle. Thank you so much for the click, and I will see you next time.